Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Thursday Night Thunder, 16 of MTA's best monster trucks are ready to throw it down and turn some dirt up for you fans. We are promising some great action and wild excitement out here on the track. Last week, Blue Thunder went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Snakebite in the finals, just barely edging them out, and the built for tough Blue Thunder took home the checkered flag. Now, here's your current point standings as it sits. Blue Thunder leads with 28, wild hair chomping at the bit. Gunslinger and Inferno hold the gate closed with 10. Moving on now to round number one to kick off the third week in January. Inferno is set to take on Bulldozer. Inferno hasn't had much luck out here on the MTA circuit. Bulldozer, however, has been running pretty consistent. He would love to turn up a win here tonight. Inferno and Bulldozer, ladies and gentlemen, as we kick off round number one. Down the straight, Bulldozer has a lead up and over the cars, and Bulldozer takes the bull to round number two. Well, up next, the Medusa Machine draws up against the week one winner, Wild Hair Rich Wagner in that Chevrolet with that brand new ride. He's hoping to knock off the Ford here in round number one. Ladies and gentlemen, Chevrolet and Ford, as we go green, they're looking even, up and over the cars, and the Wild Hair gets it shut down just in time and takes out the Ford, moving himself on to round number two. The classic King Crunch Chevrolet out of Spring, Texas, taking on the Ford Gunslinger out of Old Mel, Florida. Who's moving on to round number two? Ford and Chevrolet, Gunslinger in the far lane, Crunch in the near lane as we go green. Looking even, King Crunch pulls a lead up and over the cars, and Gunslinger tried to chase him down, but no match for the power of that Chevrolet and King Crunch moving on to round two. Well, up next out of the Bigfoot camp is that brand new snake bite. They draw up against the brand new Jurassic Attack. Snakebite made it to the finals last week. Can he do it again here tonight as we go green? Down the straight, Jurassic pulls on him hard, up and over the car, some sick air, and Snakebite comes back on him. We believe Snakebite has the win in the shutdown, and indeed he does. What a close race. Snakebite gets the win. Whiplash now set to take on the UFO Ford. Both these trucks have made names for themselves out here on the MTA circuit, but who can move on to round number two? Stage now as we go green, Whiplash pulled on UFO up and over the cars. UFO got out of shape going over that second set of cars right there, and the Whiplash machine moves on to round number two. Awesome job right there. Now the Gravedigger set to take on Zombie. Both these trucks haven't ran good all season long so far. They are looking to change that right here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Gravedigger, it's Zombie as we get set to go green. Down the straight and Zombie's on fire, up and over the car. Zombie's on fire, Gravedigger spins it out in the middle of the track. The MTA officials are gonna hurry up and get at the Zombie. Zombie is on fire right now. The track crews are getting down there to figure out what's going on. What a ride, Zombie kept foot in that truck and the track crews got the fire out. We're gonna follow up later on to figure out what happened. Unbelievable job, Zombie moves on to round number two. Well up next, the mailman, power forward draws up against the Crazy Bull and El Toro Loco. Both these guys want the win bad. Stage now as we go green, hard start for El Toro. Power forward up and over and he's turned it over, but we got a photo finish in the shutdown area. What a ride for the power forward machine, but El Toro Loco come back on him and you can see right there by half a tire, El Toro Loco's got the win. Take an instant replay right here. Power forward nosed over hard, flipped it end over end on top of the cars. Meanwhile, El Toro Loco was playing catch up and takes home the win. Well now the current Thursday Night Thunder champion, Blue Thunder draws up against the wild man himself and Taz. Taz turned it over the last two weeks. Can he make up for it here tonight? As we go green, both trucks are looking even up and over the cars and Taz will outrun the Blue Thunder machine, putting him on the trailer. We will crown a new checker flag holder here tonight. Well now we're gonna go down to the pits and get an update on the zombie machine. The crew chief is telling us they had a fuel leak going on, and some fuel got down there on the headers, which started the fire. Nothing to cry home to mom about. They will be back in round number two. The truck is A-OK. -okay. They're looking to put that zombie machine in the winner's circle. Well, now, to move on to round number two, up first is going to be Bulldozer set to take on the Wild Hair Chevrolet. Bulldozer in the near lane, Wild Hair in the far lane. Both trucks are out here to claim these points and get this flag as we go green. Wild Hair has a slight lead on Dozer up and over the cars, and Wild Hair is all the way in the pit area, getting it shut down. He had that Chevrolet on kill and moves on to the semi-finals. Well, up next, Snakebite set to take on the King Crunch machine. Snakebite out of Pacific, Missouri. King Crunch out of Spring, Texas. Chevrolet and Ford, both power plants are ready to do battle here tonight. 
who moves on to the semifinals. As we go green, they're even up and over the cards. Snakebite gets out of shape and rolls over. King Crunch will move on to the semifinals. What a ride for the Snakebite machine. He just got out of shape over the set of cars. The MTA track crew is down here now to roll him back over. Hopefully he didn't hurt that truck too bad. He just barely turned it over, trying to chase down the King Crunch Chevrolet. Snake bites on the trailer. Well, up next, the Wildfire Man himself, Zombie, set to take on Whiplash in a family feud showdown, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully Zombie doesn't start a fire here tonight, but he draws up against that bad, fast Whiplash. As we go green, Zombie pulling on him up and over the cars, and Whiplash gets it down to the wall, putting Zombie on the trailer. Well, as we get set to close out round number two, the wild man himself and Taz draws up against the new kid on the block who proved to be a force to be reckoned with out here, the crazy bull El Toro Loco. Boat truck stage as we go green, slightly to Taz. El Toro coming back and hard roll for Taz. El Toro Loco gets it down to the wall, but what a ride for the Taz machine for the third week in a row. He is on his lid. We're going to take an instant replay look right here. They were going for it all, and Taz with a side slap bounce right there got out of shape and just rolled the truck over. The MTA track crew is down here now, and you can see the damage that's already been done to Taz. They're gonna roll that truck back over the third week in a row now, ladies and gentlemen. Taz is upside down, putting a show on for these fans, and there you see it, Taz is busted up. Hopefully they'll be back soon. Well, before we kick off the semifinals, we've got a special treat for you fans. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Max D Stunt Truck. He is out here tonight to see if he can clear three monster trucks. He's getting staged up now. show for you great fans on Thunder. Well now to kick off the semi-finals, Wild Hair set to take on King Crunch. It's going to be a battle of the bow tie out here on Thursday Night Thunder. Rich Wagner wants nothing more than to put that Wild Hair back in the winner's circle with that brand new ride. King Crunch no slouch though. He wants that title too as we go green. Bow trucks are even up and over the cars. Hard hit for Wild Hair and he gets that Chevrolet to the shutdown area. Wild Hair is in the finals. Well coming up next, Whiplash draws up against the Crazy Bull and El Toro Loco. These trucks have been consistent out here on Thunder. They show no slack for each other. These guys want to put their truck in the winner's circle here tonight. But who's going to be the lucky one to move on? Whiplash El Toro Loco as we go green. El Toro has a slight lead. Whiplash is upside down. El Toro Loco gets it down to the wall. And you can see the fiberglass laying on the track. A hard roll for the Whiplash machine as she turned it over coming out of no man's land. The MTA officials out here now to roll her back over, and you can see some heavy damage done to the whiplash ride. Hopefully it's not too bad, and they're able to get it back for next week's show. Now before we kick off the finals here on Thunder, we're going to head down to the pits of the whiplash team. You can see the crew is thrashing on that truck, trying to get it back together for next week. They got a lot of work ahead of them. They say when they come off that first jump, it hit pretty hard on the left-hand side, and she just couldn't get it back around, and the truck ended up turning over. Hard luck out here for whiplash. They'll be back next week. Well, get out those cameras and wave those checkered flags because it's final time here on Thursday Night Thunder. Rich Wagner brings the Wild Hair Chevrolet back to the finals for the second time in the January season. But he draws up no slouch. The new kid on the block, Joshua Wells, and the crazy boy El Toro Loco wants that flag just as bad. Wild Hair, El Toro Loco. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Down the straight, they're looking even up and over the cars in the Wild Hair Chevrolet for the second time in the January season takes home the checkered flag on Thursday Night Thunder. Congratulations to Rich Wagner for being a four-time checkered flag holder on Thursday Night Thunder. And now we're going to take a look at the points as we close out week number three. Wild Hair leads with 48 points. Blue Thunder follows suit with 33. Gunslinger holds the gate closed with 15 points. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. 
everybody saw me rock the place Now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face In my face, always giving the crowd what they need Now they're wearing my shirts, front row to nosebleed yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about Signing all the raps until the lights out, yeah Thank you guys for watching this episode of Thursday Night Thunder. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our other videos linked right here on our channel and in the description. Be sure to crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week.